YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a new offering from Zev Technologies. I'm talking about their Z320 Octane. Okay, as always, I like to give you guys full transparency on how I go about getting these guns in for review. A buddy of mine over at Zev that I work with for marketing and content creation purposes, he sent me a text message the other day saying, hey, I'm sending you something. Uh, the next thing I know, uh, I've got a Z320 Octane waiting for me over with my buddy's F Venturi Munitions. I know, life is good. Over the last couple of years, I've built a good relationship with Zev to review their products, create content, and cross-market with them. It's been a mutually beneficial partnership that we are grateful for. So thank you to Zev for supporting our content and our channel. Now, before we get into the range footage, let's break down the specs of this platform. The Z320 Octane comes with an X-Carry frame, X-Series trigger, and the Octane Zev slide, which is compatible with the RMR footprint. The gun comes with an X-Carry Pro Black diamond-like coated barrel, and the frame is also laser stippled with their diamond pattern for better grip texture. Now something to note about the slide. It was designed by Al Wolf, the founder of Zev. Uh, I think it looks awesome. It's both aesthetically pleasing and functional. Uh, there are aggressive serrations for easy manipulation of the pistol and nice window cuts that would be great for some porting in the barrel. Hmm, maybe something that they'll look at down the road, who knows. All right, now for the range footage. For this range session, I just wanted to take the gun out and run a few hundred rounds through it and get my thoughts and my friend's thoughts on camera. So Eric, Paul, and I headed out to the desert and we got to shooting. Uh, we ran about 750 rounds through the gun and the only issues we experienced were some rounds not feeding uh, due to a broken follower in one of my old magazines. The gun itself performed flawlessly, no issues there. We ran some build drills, we shot from concealment, uh, we also used our OWB secondary holster for some on the waistband stuff, the holster we make here in house. Uh, and we also had Eric the lefty, we had him run some stuff as well. I will say that right off the bat, I really dig the X-Series trigger. To me it's one of those triggers that are perfect for a carry gun. Um, it's not super light, but it's not heavy. The flat face really gives you that feel of consistent pressure as you press the trigger to the rear, and the brake is just super crisp. Um, the wall is easy to find and get to quickly, which is great for in-flight reset when shooting. Um, now with the slide being machined and the polymer grip, the gun is definitely lighter than my X5 Legion because that has a tungsten metal infused grip. Um, this always makes me think about how it's going to affect recoil. To my surprise though, it was still really easy to manage recoil and get follow-up shots quickly with. So something I'm noticing here on the range with the uh, Zev Octane, the P320, um, the trigger is not super light, which I do like for a carry gun. Like I could definitely see with the grip angle and the trigger is super nice, but it's not so light like my other guns that I run for uh, matches and stuff like that. Um, but you're still able to get like super tight groups. We're gonna do a five shot group right here. So stand by. Say seven. Let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. So a uh, slow pace, like nice cadence, three nine three. So five shots, sub four seconds. Um, just kind of like playing with that reset and getting a feel for it. Uh, I'm definitely liking it for a carry gun. Um, it's it's very similar to like the OZ9 setup I run in regards to size. So. Uh, full length grip, compact slide, and then I'm liking the shroud from uh, Jaeger works on top of that SRO. But all right, let's get some more time in. Another thing I noticed on the range was when I started zeroing my optic, um, I was getting crazy tight groups. So I decided to film a little talking portion on the range showing this and the groups that we were getting. All right, so I know I keep talking about the trigger in this review, but it's like the groups are just getting better and better as we get more time on the range with it. So I'm gonna, we're only three yards away. I'm gonna do uh, just a quick draw and put five rounds on target as quick as I can just to see what the, uh, how tight the group stays. Uh, like again, we're only at three, nine feet away, three yards. Um, but let's see how it goes, stand by. So 174 for shot nine nine. And then one, two, three, four, five. So, what, five shots, 174? Like, to me, that's awesome at this distance. Um, you know, and I get it, guys. I know some of you in the comments are gonna be like, yo, it's so close. Uh, you know, statistically, average gunfight six to 10 feet. 
So for me to be able to draw at nine feet, I'll do it again this quick and put those rounds that close. Uh, to me, it's like, it helps me reinforce the fact that if I wanted to carry this, it'd be a viable option. So stand by again. So 327, first shot, 8.6 with the reload, five rounds. Again, 327. And we have all of them in here. So, again guys, 3.27 seconds with the reload. Um, we kind of cheated and threw on this magwell, but if you ain't cheating, you're not trying. And you guys saw it right there. So, let's get some more time on. Now, like I said, I just wanted to have a fun range day with some random drills thrown in the mix. Um, so I decided to run a few failure drills for time as well. All right, we're about five yards away. Do a few failure drills, uh, two to two center mass, one of the head, stand by. So 182, first shot, 106. We're gonna have two in the chest here, and then one not in where I wanted, but I could see it shooting high when I broke the shot. Let's go again. Stand by. One seventy, first shot, nine eight. Watch these all break. One two, and then boom. So center mass, I would want it ideally chest here, but do it one seven one more time. Stand by. One eighty three for shot one oh five and one here, one here. And then this would be like between eh, by the forehead. So let's have you guys try. Two thirty five, first shot one five eight. Good two hits here. And one up in the forehead. Let's go again. Stand by. Two twenty seven. Two hits here. And then one in that T box. Good job. All right, Eric the lefty. Failure drill. Stand by. Two eighty one. Let's go check the hits. Good two here, and then nicked off his ear. <laughs> Let's go again. Stand by. Total time, 284. Back in here again, we're good. hey -o. got in the box. Let's go one more. Two seventy-three. Looks like here and here now, and right in the uh, above the ice. So, what you think, Toast? It feels good, honestly. That trigger, like you said, it's not too light, not too heavy. It's just like the perfect amount. I would carry it. What do you think, Paul? I like P320s, they're fun to shoot, man. That Zev slide, it feels really, really nice. The grip module's awesome, the stippling feels great. What do you guys not like about it? Um, slide feels like it gets hot really quick. I don't know if that's just like the material of the slide, but it's pretty much the only gripe I have about it. You think maybe because they took a lot of mass away? It's possible. Uh, honestly, I don't really got much to say. It's my first P320 I shot. I really like it, but give it a couple more goes and we'll see. Lastly, you know I had to run some build drills because it's one of my favorite things to do. All right, so now that we just did some fast draw at three yards away, we're now at five yards. We're going to run some build drills. Six rounds for time. Stand by. 186, first shot, 9-5. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, let's go again. Attack 
bag here. Alright, stand by. One seven six first shot, eight nine. That first one I saw over here, and then the rest in here. And just so you guys see, my point of reference, my point of aim is in the chest, guys. That's what I'm shooting for right now. So those other first two shots were low. One more time. Stand by. One eight eight first shot, 101. Man, that second round, the brass came back and smacked me right in the face. But all right in here. Cool. So guys, overall, what do I think about the Zev Z320 Octane? Um, I think it's sweet. Man. Uh, when the P320 first came out, I was not a fan. Um, it wasn't until I ran the X5 Legion variant. Um, I liked how easy that was to shoot because of the X-Series trigger and how little it recoiled because of the tungsten frame, making it way more. Um, now with the Z320, you get the same awesome X-Series trigger, but with a lightweight slide and frame in a carry slash compact size that makes it easier to conceal. I do have a couple of gripes though. Um, I wish that they did their lower like one fifth window co-witness with the irons like they did on the OZ9 platform. Unfortunately with the Z320, whether you drop an RMR or an SRO on the slide, the sights just are not tall enough to give you any type of co-witness whatsoever. They're completely blocked by the optic, uh, by the optic body. Um, I wonder with the internals being different uh, on a P320 versus like a Glock slide or an OZ9 slide, if they're so different that you're not able to get the same depth of cut. Um, maybe that's where that comes from, but I have no idea. Um, the other gripe is something I touched on already. Um, it's the window cuts. They give me like that Glock compensated model vibes, like, you know, the Glock 19C. Uh, I'm hoping Zev comes out with the Z320 compensated barrel that utilizes those same cuts that match up with the window cuts. Um, that way you can have, you know, a Z320C. I think that would be really cool. It's no surprise to anyone uh, if you follow our content um, that I really dig compensated platforms. Now, in regards to the price, guys, uh, the Z320 Octane comes in at about $1,300. I wanted to see how that stacked up to other similar options using the SIG FCU Studio Builder that's on the new SIG Sauer website. If you're not familiar with it, I definitely recommend checking out because it's just like Gunstruction where you can kind of just build the SIG to the options that you want and prices it out for you. Um, anyway, building a similar pistol on the SIG website that only comes with one mag instead of two like the Octane does from Zev, uh, no stippling, and has to be cut for the Romeo Series dot instead of an RMR. You'd be looking at about a thousand dollars so for the extra three hundred dollars you get the laser stippled grip and an additional magazine and lastly the gun will already come cut for an rmr or sro so you're not having to use some other type of mounting plate um, we all know that an rmr cut and frame stipple can easily run you over three hundred dollars so my personal opinion i think that zev priced this one pretty accurately I know I'll get a couple questions regarding the shield over the SRO, so I will go over that here. Um, we ran the Trigicon SRO with the Jaegerworks Battle Ready Optic Shield, or BROS, uh, BROS. It's a metal shroud that provides additional protection for the SRO optic from Trigicon. Um, for outside the waistband carry, I do really dig it. Uh, however, for inside the waistband concealed carry, I like less bulk, so I probably wouldn't run it that way. Um, I also added the magwell from my X5 Legion to the Octane for quicker and easier reloads. The gun does not come with a magwell, but it is compatible with the SIG P320 magwells that are out there. Well guys, that's going to do it for our review of the Z320 Octane from Zev. Um, we appreciate you checking out the video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out our Patreon link down below. Um, our Patreon members, our Patreon squad, they get first access to new content, new gear, special discounts and giveaways. They are a big reason why we can continue to create the content that we do for everybody to watch. So thanks again guys for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video. It's all good, dog. You worked through it. Yeah. The reload, though. I know. Isn't that magwell nice? Yeah, it's so nice. It goes right in. That's what she said. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah.